G'day viewers and welcome to this episode of PB's Retro Restorations. This week I'm doing this Corgi Toys number 222. That's three twos, three times two is six. Or it was when I went to school. Renault Fluoride or Fluoride. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it. You can let me know in the comments if you'd like to give me your opinion. Now you may remember, you may not remember the Corgi Carrymore Transporter that I got cheap and it had all these cars on the back of it. Well this was one of them. So this one must have been a pretty popular product for Corgi because it was in the range from 1959 to 1965 and I believe it was the first Corgi to have the window piece and vacuum formed interior. Uh, but I'm happy to be corrected on that. It was red, then it was green for a bit. Then it was green for a bit. Then it was still green for a bit. And then for its final rollout, it finally came out in another color, which is blue. But this was a red one, and I'm going to redo it red. And we'll see how it comes out. And I know I've done a lot of red cars lately. I think the last, apart from the General Lee, they've all been red. But anyway, that's enough of my incessant waffle. Let's get Le Cracker Lack in as they say on the Champs de Lycée, probably, and get this one looking wonderful again. Or Le Wonderful Trebi and Moncherie. That's French. I tell you what viewers, I continue to be in love with this gear puller. It's just it's just one of those things like I should have had years ago for pulling these wheels off. It's like, you know what the answer is, you know what the solution is, but you persevere and then one day you finally get over it and open your wallet and buy the $5 tool that could have saved you untold hours of grief. Hooray! I used caustic soda on the paint but of course because it was red some of it wanted to fight me and it was a little bit harder to clean up this one but you know I persevered and got there in the end.
I even had to resort to the steel wool on this one to get the very last remnants of that red paint off it. Um, it was made to last, it wasn't, <laughs> wasn't going to come off easy. As I mentioned in the unboxing video or the purchases video where I was talking about this, the little vents on these are moulded open, um, which I thought was a really neat feature for the given the age of the casting and I really wanted to make sure they were cleaned up and open so you could see them. This little guy appeared to have all these original tyres as well, so you know they normally go rock hard and break when you try and pull them off, but I wanted to try and use them if I could, and they were still supple enough to get them off the rims without breaking them, which was a big relief. It saved me buying a new set for it, and it retains that little touch of originality, I suppose. Then I cleaned up the hubs, and I probably made them shinier than they ever were from the factory, but anyway. Okay, so the last time I had wheels like this to put back on was with the Land Rover and you saw me smacking them back on there with a hammer and uh, viewer Red Dave, Hi Red Dave, suggested I use a rubber mallet to put them back on which um, 
is obviously a really good idea. I've even got a rubber mallet, so... But, you know, I never think of these things myself. I rely on you viewers to tell me. Uh, but I told Red Dave that if that made him cringe, he should wait until my Renault Fluoride video comes out, because, um... Well, you'll see how I got these wheels back on. I thought it was a really good idea. Uh... But next time I'm using a rubber mallet, Red Dave, I promise. <laughs> so smashing the who's it's out of it wasn't working. So I thought, well, if I use a gear puller to pull them off, maybe I could use pressure to push them back on. I know, I'll put them in this vice. And just tighten them up and all jokes aside it worked but um yeah i don't know my brain doesn't always f function like everyone else's viewers tried cleaning original tyres before like I did with the uh, dinky skip truck it didn't really work out for me but I'm pleased to say that on this occasion it did work and all the little bits of paint that were on them came off too so that was great even better was when they went back on as well and I started thinking a bit more that you know because the car had been repainted these probably were replacement tires but maybe they were older replacement tires I don't know um, they're not normally this uh, easy to get on and off as anyone who's taken the motor off would well know Alright, I can't, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I've got this new pen, it's like a silver Posca paint pen, but at the end of it's like a paintbrush, and it gives a really nice, you know, finish, silver finish, uh, not chrome, because, you know, the originals aren't chrome. Um, but one of the other advantages I then found was that with the toothpick, with any, where I go out of the lines and it looks a bit messy, I can clean it up a bit with a toothpick uh, because it's acrylic paint I guess it just it comes off really easy I'm doing this after I clear coated the body so maybe that facilitated it as well I don't know uh, but I'm pleased with how neat I was able to get this um, I'm trying to be better at being neat with this um, but this one came out better than the Land Rover did I, th I think
I did the tail lights and I did the indicators as well. I think I started over detailing it a bit, but I don't know. It, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Like I try to do these back to as per factory, but I don't know. I felt like a, the indicators and the brake lights kind of lifted it a little bit. When I ordered some decals from Black Square, there was a sheet of reproduction Corgi license plate decals, so I got a sheet of those as well. But of course, I forgot that these need to be trimmed really close to the edge, and I wasted a couple of them. Ah, uh, it's okay, I had another go. You get a heap of them on the sheet, so it wasn't a complete dead loss, thank goodness. But of course in typical PB fashion I got so excited about putting the new ones on that um, I tore it so I very carefully just pushed them together with a toothpick and you can hardly notice the join I'm sure. I'm sure when you're watching it on your 50 inch TV you'll see it, it'll look like a big giant crack but anyway. All right, and just like that, as if by magic, with no grief whatsoever, we are done. Hooray! So here we are back at the start with our, you know, well-intentioned restoration. It's not completely awful, and again, we thank the person who saved it from the bin and gave it a fresh coat of, well, you know, tried to give it a fresh coat of paint, um, did the best within their means because otherwise it might have ended up in the bin and anyway this is what we started with and this is what we're left with now ta-da! looking a million bucks now with its much improved paint job 
uh, fresh details, um, some replacement or reproduction license plates, a little bit of detailing but not too much. I think it looks a lot better. Could have done a better job on the windscreen but I'd rather keep a slightly imperfect original than replace it. Um, you can always replace it down the track. I hope you've enjoyed this one viewers. Don't forget the PB's Retro Restoration's 4th Birthday Community Build, Diecast, Bottle Kit, Cocktail Sticks, any brand, it doesn't matter. June's ages away, plenty of time to get involved, have fun, and maybe win a substandard prize. Want to see what my face looks like under all the hair? No, me either. But I'm going to do it anyway to help raise $40,000 for Women's Legal Service Queensland. Please consider donating via the QR code on your screen, or check out the link in the description for more details. Thank you. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to come and watch my video. I really appreciate it. There's a million videos on the internet and you could be watching one of them, but you're not, you're here, and that means a lot to me. Thank you very much. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love for you to consider subscribing and becoming a close personal friend of PB. That'd be fantastic. Maybe share the video, give it a thumbs up if you've liked it. Uh, let me know if you haven't. Well, let me know if you have. I read all your comments and I, I really appreciate it when you just take the time to, to leave those comments. Um, sometimes it takes me a couple of days to reply, but I, I will reply to you. Um, have a great weekend. Have a safe weekend. And I'll see you in the next one, viewers. Bye.